What is good quality of that person? You glorify that. And other devotee, to him, Prabhupada told, what is good quality of this person? You tell in this way. Actually, glorifying of the Vaishnava, uh, giving us much wealth of devotion. Krishna himself wants to glorify his devotee. Krishna said in Srimad Bhagavatam, Je, je Tana Garu Kutrafta, Tana Nyutta Viman Param, Hitta Man Sharanam Jata Kratam Tam Tapta Nitsai, Sadhu Nam Hidayam Taham, Sadhu Hidayam Vajjam, Sadhu Nam Hidayam Taham, Madanate Vajananti, Nahum Tenko Manan. One of the policy to glorify the devotee. And Krishna will be happy to hear that. And Krishna will bestow his mercy upon us. Then he must be devotee. Otherwise, uh, uh, not will be fruitful. But we not will abuse anybody. But glorifying the devotee it is very And Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur's policy was that everybody has some special quality. And we can glorify if we want to see that special quality, good quality. Another way we can say the devotees have <coughs> also many faults. But it is looking in this mundane world, uh, rules and rules and regulations. Uh, through that vision, we can say that there is fault. But Krishna said, no, my devotees have no fault. That is Krishna's own mane, common man. And what we are looking at for in the devotee, that is our fault. That was Krishna's expression. You know that sloka. Abhijet sudura jaro, bhajate maam anandra bhar, shaduri yoro samantar bhashamak babushito isha. And if we can try to understand this sloka, then all the mane, dust, uh, bad smell, bad dust, uh, everything dirty will remove from our heart. First we want to, uh, first we will try to uh, know what is the devotion? <coughs> devotion is very clean thing. And where is little devotion, there are no possibility to stay anything bad. And Krishna said it. What you are looking, that is your deficiency of vision. Vision deficiency. Actually, devotees have no fault. This way, expression of Krishna, he did not want to see any fault of his Another way we can understand, once Guru Maharaj, he afraid he had done little offense, that is, he put a tulashi uh, in the deity's lotus feet uh, before installation. Uh, it was that time some neomarchy, uh, it's not actually, it was formality. a formality. The custom? Ah, custom, formality. It is good. 
uh, yeah, they are uh, before installation the devotees making everything nicely inside of the room of the deity and Prabhupada Sarasvati is coming, coming and he is putting Tulasi in the lotus feet of the devotee, a deity and opening the door in installation finally and in uh, someone of the mart of Prabhupada Sarasvati Thakur, their Guru Maharaj also went there. And Guru Maharaj, he decorated the DT room, DT everything. And also he put a Tulasi in the lotus feet of the DT. Only Prabhupada Sarasvati Thakur giving that Tulasi to the lotus feet of the deity and opening the door, installation finished. It was um, a previous some formality. But there Prabhupada wants to, uh, Prabhupada went to give, went to put the tulasi in the deity's lotus feet. But he has seen Guru Mahas before, uh, it is already given that Tulasi. And Guru Mahal said, it was my idea, the deity was in high position, and Prabhupada will uh, get a little trouble to go there and put their Tulasi. That is, I put it there, Tulasi. Guru Mahal do not know that courtesy at that time. He heard Prabhupada will come, and he will put the Tulasi. And Guru Mahal thinking, and uh, the deity uh, staying in the up, very up position, and necessary to put their tulasi and uh, some chair or tool, and Prabhupada will uh, be there and put their tulasi, Prabhupada will get some trouble. Then he also tulasi put it in the lotus feet of the deity. Then Prabhupada when he had seen the Tulasi already given by Siddhar Maharaj, and he was very happy, and he opened that door, he did not get Tulasi. And opened that door and done Dandavat Prana. And next issue of Gauriya, that is uh, on a weekly magazine, they are one article Prabhupada given, and he mentioned, when I want to uh, install their deity, there I have seen deity himself is revealed there. <laughs> and I was very happy to see that this way. He wrote an article. Then Vasudev Prabhu was very dear to Prabhupada. And that Vasudev Prabhu uh, they asked to Guru Maharaj, what happened? Prabhupada wrote this article. The deity already himself uh, manifested. Prabhupada giving Tulasi and manifestation uh, finalized. Uh, everybody is seeing that. But what happened there? Then Guru Maharaj said, I do not know. Then Vasudha Prabhu was very intelligent and very when <laughs> he said, you put a Tulasi into the lotus feet of the deity, Kurma said, yes, I put a Tulasi also. That is, I am thinking, Prabhupada will get trouble and if not, it will be good. Then Bhakti Prabhu said, oh, for that, uh, Prabhupada wrote, deity himself manifested. Yeah. Anyhow, after hearing that Guru was very sad and he wrote a letter to Prabhupada Sarasat Thakur. Yeah, I have done much of into the lotus feet of you. That is, I do not know before it, the, you are putting the Tulasi and that is the main for custom. And <coughs> please uh, forgive my offenses, this is Guru Mahal's wrote a letter. And Prabhupada Sarsat Thakur answered him to Guru Maharaj, Je who is selling that soul, he have no offense. 
then you don't worry about that. And this is vital point. Who is the surrender to Krishna? He is the devotee. And Krishna is not taking any offense of the devotee. That is the nature of Krishna. Necessary to be a devotee of Krishna. And which way we will be devotee? Then when we can glorify the devotee, when we can uh, serve the devotee, easily we become devotee. That is the process of Saraswati Thakur. Uh, uh, from the scriptures, he uh, given an example and practicing um, by teaching practical. Uh, practical uh, class. This way he, he is giving to all the devotees. Then glorifying to the devotee is very nice. <coughs> and if we can do, then all options also will go from us. But here you have done uh, my glorification and I am very shy for that. Uh, Guru Maharaj gave me charge. I am trying uh, to serve Guru Maharaj. And I know the service to you all. That is the real service to Guru Maharaj. <coughs> that is why I am trying to serve all the devotee, also who is sincere seeker. Uh, I am trying to give something to them, what I have got from Guru Maharaj. It is not my wealth, it is actually wealth of Guru Maharaj. And I am getting some brokadi in the middle position. I am giving a long picture or anything to others. That is not my property. Guru Maharaj ordered me, you do this, you give this. I am trying to give and I am getting a little brokadi. And that is my position actually. And other way I can see, I can tell and I told it many times before and it is really my feelings that I am living with the energy of the devotees. Actually I have no quality and qualification. I not feel I am very qualified and uh, I have some oil. I feel it that Guru Maharaj is so merciful and mercifully he given us something and we are making our business with that. But mainly when we will start to make something or organize one money workshop, there are many things is necessary, but main thing is their electricity. And that is called energy. And energy I am getting through the devotees. Devotee, they are very merciful to me. What is my deficiency? They are always trying to fulfill that. And I am getting enthusiasm, inspiration, and service mood, everything from the devotee of Krishna as well as our Guru Maharaj. That is, I always want to stay with that devotee. And I cannot go anywhere now, out of my track. This is my desire, and that way I am trying something. And who is my friend? Who is my dear brother? And who is my uh, uh, okay. associate? You can say associate going with me. With all I am trying uh, to proceed in the line of our uh, Krishna consciousness. And we are so fortunate, no doubt. That is, we have got many friends. Uh, many facilities in this age it is not possible to get easily that this age is atheistic age all uh, going, every higher going is communism uh, socialism and uh, democracy everything and we are hating all that that is we are not like that our relationship with our Lord and ourselves. That is, Lord is our master and we are their servant. 
सोहम दिस इज नॉट आवर मंत्र भगवान प्रभु प्रभु अहम दास मैंने and his divine grace all is worshipable by, by us and his worship will come will come to the uh, the mercy of the devotee then we first will try to worship the devotee then krishna will be more happy with us and he will bestow his mercy upon us and when desire of shiva sukha swaru and other vaishnavas they they want to do something today i think it is one kind of death of myself i know that and uh, when orjun uh and judishti quarrel and judishti in mane heavily a hate orjun he is not killing karna willingly like that and he told ye thik your gandhi but it was orjun's promise If anybody will uh, abuse his Gandhi, then no, no, ah, no, he will kill him. Then he 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 is trying to kill uh, Judishti. When war finish, then Arjun trying to kill Judishti, and the Krishna said, "Oh Arjun, what he wants to go now?" Then Arjun said, "Prabhu, what shall I do? Ah, I am <coughs> promised. I promised already. Who will uh, abuse my bow? I must kill him. And Maharaja Yudhishthir have done it. Then I must kill him. That is, I am Khatriya. I keep my promise." Then Krishna said, "You are so foolish, Raja Yudhishthi, ah, Chhatrapati, and you are trying to kill him. Before that, you may die. But why you are going to kill him? Then Arjun suddenly come in his own consciousness. Yes, if I cannot kill, I will die. I must die. <laughs> and Krishna said, 'You must die, but.'" Don't try to kill me, brother. Do this too. And it is Mahapap. It is very simple for you, and you are great being. Then Arjun has uh, suddenly got his sense, common sense, and told, "Yes, that is true." And he wants to kill himself. And Took one weapon and tried to kill himself. Then Krishna said, "Oh, oh you foolish! Again, what do you want to do?" And what you said, you said, and it is true. When I cannot fulfill my promise, then I must die. 
and I'm going to die. Now, then Krishna said, how much, how many times I shall teach you, I do not know. You know how many uh, process uh, of dying, my English is clear. Yeah. Yes. 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 How many processes of dying? I was just saying, no, but like eight kinds of dying process. There is one of that, if you glorify yourself, then that's also one kind of time. So why do you want to go leave your body? You glorify yourself. Then you will get that position. Then what do I don't, I have done this, I have done that, I have done that. Now, you like I do this to you, what you have done? I have done this. And also, if you abuse your some guru job, that's also one kind of time. And Yudhisthira die also like that. If you abuse Yudhisthira, he will die. And Yudhisthira also thinking, oh, abuse, or to, to me, then I uh, must leave my body. And Arjun also glorifying himself, then Arjun also thinking, oh, with this body, what I shall do? Then Krishna said, now you both are dead, I recognize, then you come back in your previous position and told to Arjun, you uh, take the feet of Judhisthi and beg apology to Judhisthi that is, you abused him. And Told to Arjun, uh, you try to uh, clean up yourself through your prosperity uh, topic. That both you will be perfect. This way, Krishna shown us the glorification of himself. That's also one kind of death. And when Sutta Sura uh, told me, I think another way, and that was, I think it is more good for our money practicing life. And I think if he will feel happiness, and other Bhushna will feel happiness, then I may die many times for their happiness. Yeah. And I must give some chance to do that and they will be happy. And Krishna will be happy to me that if I gave happiness to them, then I will get some benefit through this. Every higher we have some possibility to get to benefit. Every higher. When I, who can play football? Football always will go in his feet. We can see that. Uh, and another story also you heard maybe somewhere in the book of Guru Maharaj. One man was very efficient. He always collecting some money from bribe or anyway. And he become very rich man. But he is always collecting <coughs> money. The minister said to king, this man always taking bribe to make him oust from your office. Then by the uh, request of minister, he called uh, king called that man. And told uh, I am doing sack you from your service, you get out from my country. And he quoted her, told me, the king, yes, sir, which way I shall maintain myself? I am living in your country. In your name, I am getting some money. And 
in your office, I am doing something, service, then I am getting some. And if you ask me which way I shall live, what we will eat, and my all wealth took your chief uh, minister, my all wealth took the chicken, now I am a beggar. Give something service to me, any kind of service you can give. Then that minister said, you go and count the oil of that river. It is nothing. It's called in Bengali, the Jautui Pujo, the Dev Gonoga. You go in the Ganges and count there. Uh, well, it's a bridge. And he said, okay, sir. I am thinking this is my service. Ah, jau, jau, get out. That is your service. No, any prominent service we can give you. That is, you always must take some bribe from others. Then he said, sir, please sign in this paper, you are giving me that. I shall count the uh, way in the real man. It is in the book of Guru Maharaj somewhere? No. 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 Then he has gone to the river and that man is very efficient. He can collect from everywhere something. And the king sacked him and housed him. And minister mercifully given, not it is mercy, actually minister wants to house from the meeting. <laughs> then he said, get out and go and count that uh, the Ganges oil. And he heavily requested, please sign here the Ganges oil, I shall know. <laughs> then uh, I heavily requested, given that signature, and he gone to Ganges. And he stopped all the money ship. What? Don't go this way. I am counting. <laughs> no and he took many people, gundas and some. He had some arrangement. He is taking bribe, then the arrangement also very big. And all the ship, all the boat, he stopped. Don't go this way. I am counting. <laughs> This is for man, you see, order of king. And he saw the order of king. The signature. This is my on a duty I shall count. Don't break it. Uh, if you go all well, uh, I cannot count, then I shall not give chance. Then they are giving right. They take ten rupees we you pass this way. Okay, five rupees we shall pass. <laughs> then, who is efficient? He can take chance from everyone. And then this way, I think, yeah, I do not want to be failure in my examination. And when Sita Sohatra told me, yeah, who wants to make some a festival there, I think I can collect from there also something. <laughs> this is my excuse to you all. Uh, only it is satisfaction of the devotee. I, if I do anything, then Krishna will be very merciful to me. And it is true, we are all, we have all some uh, deficiency. And each other, if we will help, then we everybody will be benefiting. That today now it is and the Bhoga also offering come. And it is my prayer to you all, you don't take my offenses. And I must be happy with you all and if you bless me 
and give your mercy for the service to Guru Maharaj. And that is my only desire, my heart. More than half is already passed. And also I have no uh, any intention to get a position in this Mandel world. Or anyway, I do not want to do that. And I also uh, take affection of Guru Maharaj and promise to Guru Maharaj to serve him. And it is only my desire, if I can satisfy my Guru Maharaj, then Krishna will be satisfied with me. And I shall get everything. Everything means the service in transcendental world to the lotus feet of Radha Krishna. That is our money life's goal and it will come through our Guru Vaishnava and they will be merciful to me. And I am very happy with you all and I am feeling you are all my friends. Hmm? And everybody trying to proceed within one ship. That is our goal. And we are living now in one ship and everybody trying to go to our destiny. So now time past one o'clock. Thank you.